that stack of papers. Every academic knows it, especially conference organizers and journal editors. They have to assign hundreds of submissions among dozens of reviewers to select the handful of papers that they hope will best advance their field. It's a dizzying task that's mostly been guided by intuition and experience. Join us as we talk with two researchers who believe that machine learning and other recent advances can improve the process in computational support for academic peer review. As a program co-chair responsible for an ACM data mining conference in 2009, University of Bristol professor Peter Flach had a puzzle to solve. If we have 500 papers times three reviews, it's 1,500 reviews, and that needs to be distributed over, let's say, 300 program committee members. He could have used traditional methods to allocate the papers, relying on his personal contacts and knowledge of the field. Instead, he turned to Simon Price, the university's academic research IT manager. So tradi traditionally, the way that papers and, uh, and, and reviewers have been characterized has been through keywords. But uh, manual processes like this are, are known to be problematic. As an expert in machine learning, Dr. Flach jumped at the chance to automate the process. We develop all these clever techniques to, um, to do document classification, to do text mining, to do all sorts of machine learning, but we forget about applying those in our own daily work. Earlier researchers had laid the groundwork by developing techniques that Drs. Simon and Flach used, like the so-called bag of words. So it's the bag of words, all the words that are in this paper, how similar are they to all the words in the publications of, of, of this potential reviewer? They further automated the process by mining public information sources. So um, rather than asking people to uh, provide lists of their publications, for instance, for the uh, program committee, we take that information, we built a, a harvester to take that information from a uh, very good quality online bibliography, uh, DBLP. They developed it as a reusable system named Subsift, and Dr. Flach uses it every week as editor of the journal Machine Learning. For each paper I get a, r a rank list of my associate editors and then I decide who is the most appropriate editor to, um, uh, uh, to handle the paper. And then the same system is also available uh, to the associate editors, so they can then rank the editorial board members. They believe that such an automated approach could provide the power needed to consider papers for multiple conferences at once. If I'm concentrating on editing the journal, then I'm taking uh, essentially a published, not published decision. Uh, if I'm taking a bigger view as a computer scientist, then I could ask a different question. Here is a paper. Which venue is this paper best suited for? Get all the details in the March 2017 issue of Communications of the ACM. In the review article, Computational Support for Academic Peer Review, a Perspective from Artificial Intelligence.